Go now to my colleague Bridget Spencer. She continues our live team coverage at the King Center in Atlanta. Bridget, good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. The King family and the Carter family, they really built a special bond, a special alliance over several years. And a lot of people uh, may not have even known that. Uh, in a statement, the King Center actually says that Coretta Scott King shared a special relationship with Mrs. Carter, particularly around issues that were impacting women. They say Mrs. Carter was a strong force in President Carter's life, as we all know, and often an advisor on the issues facing the country during his pregnancy. But President Carter actually spoke back in 2013 about his relationship with the King family and the alliance between the two families, saying the King family reminded him of the importance of fighting for human rights and, of course, fighting for world peace. Bernice King, the daughter of Dr. Martin Luther King, says back in 1988, her mother and Mrs. Carter actually co-founded the Georgia chapter of the International Women's Forum. This just shows how close the two families were and how they shared similar missions and similar values. We're live from the King Center this morning. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Yeah, there were a lot of people who didn't know the King family and the Carters were so close. Right. But um, mm -hmm. we know how important their missions were and why they fought for justice in all areas of life. Bridget, thanks so much for that. And you may be saying to yourself this morning, I want to be able to send my own condolences to the Carter family. Well, you have the chance to do so. All you have to do is head over to AtlantaNewsFirst.com or you can head over to our free Atlanta News First app. And you'll also find Mrs. Carter's pictures, uh, life in pictures, I should say, and the story of her lifelong love for President Jimmy Carter.